Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an ordinary table, like the one on the left here, and transform it into something with a little more wow factor. Here I have a basic table that I created in PowerPoint using one of the standard styles. And as far as tables go, it does the job. I can easily see the information in the different office locations that we're evaluating. But I think we can do better. Let's see how we can transform it into something more like this. Here in PowerPoint, I'll right-click on this slide and duplicate. And I'll just drag it down to my Demos section to keep things organized. The first thing I'll do is insert a shape on the top just to give it a little bit of structure and kind of an outline for what we're doing here. We'll take it down to this third dashed line. For fill color, I'll just use standard colors. Feel free to choose something different if you'd like. And then for outline, we'll say no outline. And then I'll right click the shape and send it to the back. We'll make this white just to make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to recreate the columns of the table using shapes as well. Let me just kind of drag this out of the way. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see the entirety of the slide. And then I'll insert shape again. I'll grab the rectangle. I'll just kind of eyeball this here right about here. I'll drag it down. And to keep things precise, so we'll have the same size for everything, we'll do 5 inches high and 3.15 inches wide. For this, I'm going to make the fill black with no outline. And then I'll copy that so we've got the three columns. One, two, and three. And then I want to add some text at the top of this to display the address of the office that we're working with. So I'll say Edit Text. This will be 123 Main Street. We need to change the location of that text though, so up here on the Home tab we'll make it left aligned. And then if I right click and Format Shape, Text Options, Text Box, and we'll move this to the top. We want a little bit more margin here though, so we'll go with Top Margin, we'll say 0.35. And a little bit more on the left, call it 0.12. Maybe bump that up just a little bit. You can play with these until they're just the way you like them. Okay, perfect. Now we'll click on this one and use the Format Painter. If you double click on that, you can paint that style onto these other two, just like that. So we should get the same alignment. Edit Text. This one will be 555 Parkway. And this one here, 800 3rd Avenue. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add some more shapes. So insert rectangle. This one we're going to drop right here where that blue shape ends on the top. And I don't want to drag it all the way down. I want this black area on the bottom just to kind of give it some grounding. For shape fill, this one's going to be white and no outline. Your width should be the same as the black rectangle. So if we check that, this was 3.15 wide. This one is also the same. So I'll copy that into these other two columns and align everything. Okay, just kind of drag this out of the way a little bit more. But you'll see that we've got our columns. They don't really stand out though because we have a white background and we have white squares or rectangles there in the middle. One nice way to get things to pop out on the slide is to add a shadow behind them. So let's do that. I'm going to group the black rectangle and the white rectangle by right clicking and saying group. I'll do the same for the others. I'm just hitting the shift key there to select both of them at the same time. Group. And then I'll select all of them. We'll go to Shape Effects, Shadow, and I'll just choose this outer one here in the middle, Center. Perfect. Now you'll see they pop a little bit better. All right, we've got the rest of our data down here in this original table. Let me just right click and say Bring to Front so we can see all of that. We don't need this top row anymore, so I can go up here delete row. Remember that's what we put up in the black tabs there of the columns. 
I do want the rest of the data though, but I don't want all of this formatting on the table. I just want the text. So we'll select the table again, come up to table design, and this very top left one, no style, no grid. That's just what we want here. Okay, and then it'll take some finagling to get this to line up over the columns that we've created. I'll just do a few different things here. For this far left column, I'm going to right align that text. We'll leave that the same size, but for this text in here, let's bump that down to a 16. A little more space to work with here. Just try resizing that table. We'll also drag it down here so it takes up more space. Perfect. I'll drop this onto two lines here, and I want a little bit more space to the right of this. So if I select that column, come up to Layout, Cell Margins, Custom Margins, and then we'll bump up the right margin to say 0.3, just to make that separate a little bit better. I'll nudge this over using my arrow key. Things are looking okay here. I still have some text that's running off the edges of my column, so I'll just adjust the table a little bit more. I'll adjust some of the cells, and then I'll come back when I'm done. All right, that's looking pretty good. The last thing I want to do is add some dividing lines that'll serve as sort of a visual row since we got rid of the grid lines. To do that, I'll just come up to Insert, Shapes, grab a line here. I'll just drop it here in between our first two rows. I'll stop at the edge of this column. We'll make this a gray color, a light gray. We don't want it to be super in your face, but just enough that we know there's a separation between these rows. I'll copy paste and drop those in between the other rows. Very subtle, but it's there. I'll move those over just a nudge. Okay, great. Let's take a look at this in slideshow mode. And voila! I think you'll agree this is more visually interesting and impactful than the table that we started with. So there you go. That's how to transform an ordinary table into something with a little bit more wow factor. If you found the content valuable, we always appreciate the likes, subscribes, and shares.